uh, just very quickly on managers, you were managed by a former Manchester United hero. Can I, can I call Roy Keane a club legend? Absolutely. Yeah. See, that's it. That's the difference. <laughs> now, that's the difference, Anton. Roy Keane's a legend, right? Fair dues. I can't put Roy Keane and Ollie in the same bracket. What sort of manager was Roy Keane? Could, could, could he have an effect on Manchester United? Because we hear him as a pundit and, and he divides opinion, let's say that. One thing he will govern, he will he will hold a room, he will hold the dressing room, hundred percent. He demands respect straight away, and will get the respect straight away. Um, Didn't you want to beat up De Gea though? <laughs> I mean, is that the kind of manager we're talking about? Well, I'm not sure it was exactly to that point. It was more of a throwaway comment, but, but yeah. Hey. Whether he's the man for the job at the moment, I don't know. Um, but I, I, for I'm me, not necessarily saying as a manager. I'm saying you know someone who knows the club, who has that that very high standard that clearly it seems Roy Keane wants to set. Yeah, and and that was the difference for me when I did go to Sunderland. You know, um, from West Ham, the difference that I saw in terms of managers, and I'm not sitting here saying that Alan Kerbishley wasn't a good manager because he was, mm. but the difference in the demand from the players, from Alan Kerbishley to to Roy Keane. I noticed that the difference, and through speaking to Rio, and obviously, obviously having conversation with Rio about his time at Man United, with the likes of Roy Keane, Ryan Giggs, Nicky Butt, Paul Scholes, who demanded the best every day. Mm. You know, it was clear to me from my first week training at Sunderland, he took no prisoners. If you weren't training properly, he would let you know. 